It's your boy Ray Ray. Yeah. I'm on crossing the street with Jimbo. Luck. Luck. Them if I prefer you friend or foe. The melanin in my skin must to give you melatonin. Cause you sleeping on my gifts because my pigments a little different. My hair, a little tangle. My lips, a little bigger plate. To the truth, why do you hate niggas? Why do you hesitate to shoot? When it ain't niggas, because my pants a little low. Right. My music's a um, little loud. That gives off. you a right to give me. I'm here today with Ray Ray. Finally got a chance to meet my mans. What's good? What's good? I've been a big fan for a long time. Um, I brought a gift. I always bring a gift for everybody. Hell yeah. That's a gift. Um, I don't know if you got. I don't know if you got oh, one or not. Oh, definitely, definitely. Thank you. But I the appreciate new, uh, it. Yeah, stacking kicks gear there Hell from yeah. David Jefferson. I've been trying to give me a sweatsuit for a minute, man. Yeah, he's got all sizes. Yeah, suits. see, he's I'm, I'm great, near. I'm near. Outlet, I didn't know that. Yeah. Uh, um, nice fit, by the way, too. Thank you, Cuddy. Good. All right, so I got a few questions for <laughs> he you got today. A, he got a whole list. I got a whole list. Just a little. <laughs> I, got I was it, a little bit it. prepared for I'm it. I was not. I'm ready. Um, I know that you're not from Portland. You're from originally from Arizona, correct? Yeah, yeah born in Arizona. How, how'd you get to Portland? Just tell us that story. Um, like, just... Well, like, I moved I moved around a lot. I lived in, like, we was hella poor when we were growing up, so we lived in whatever cheap is. Ohio, Oklahoma, um, Arizona, um, just wherever we can, you know what I mean, wherever cheapest for us. And my mom used to move around a lot. So I grew up in a whole bunch of different places, but my grandpa lived here. So I came here to visit and, like, Shit, I don't even know what year it was. I came here to visit, went to school down here for a little bit, left, came back again. So I left like a lot. Do you remember but what school you went to when you were here? I went, my first school I went to here was Boise Elliott. Okay, and, um, cool, all right. All yeah, right, and then yeah. I, I spent like half a, half a year there, but then we went back to, you know, Arizona. Um, and then I moved to, came out here again, went to Alisai Elementary, Alisai. left again, came back, went to David Douglas. They kicked me out of David Douglas because <laughs> I was hella bad. <laughs> went to uh, Fur Ridge, got kicked out of Fur Ridge, and then I went to uh, Helen's U. So that's where I like started my music shit. That's where you got the music going. Yeah. yeah, looking back through your music, you know, it's. I was just telling you, you know, you have such an impressive, long lasting catalog that you can really see the difference in like from the from boy to man if, if that makes any sense yeah 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 um the 90s baby is a real thing hell yeah hell yeah <laughs> uh my my growth has been different like uh everybody know i used to game bang um starting when i was hella young uh you know after i think um my music stemmed from you know what i've been through shit like being homeless and uh, you know, heartbreak and fights and things like that, and like just going through the motion and like shit like that. Uh, and I, would, I used to be hard headed when I was younger, like hella hard headed, and I didn't give a fuck about nothing. Like, <laughs> but I also was nice and I was like funny. So my, and it didn't really make sense, me game back, you know what I mean? It was, I was just like, always had a good heart. I, I never felt right, you know, doing certain shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, I wouldn't beat a nigga up because. Something up, somebody told me to do it. It'd be like, if I'm gonna fight you, it's gonna be a real issue, you feel me? It ain't gonna be no, yeah. So, so as I grew up, and I started noticing, like, you know, life is precious, you know what I mean? I got shot two times, and after I got shot, I remember I couldn't walk for like seven months, and, um, and that's when I realized I wanted to, you know, do something different. And, you know, I stayed in school, shit like that, and I think that process helped me grow into the men I am today, I just, you know. Can you tell me a little bit about that experience, Ray Ray? Like, oh, give me what, what year was that, and how old were you? And I was 16, I was 16, 16 when I got shot. Um, uh, it was, it was, you know, just me and a dude got into it. He, um, you know, this is back when I was like, I'm, I'm done game making, I want to do it no more, but it right. just felt like it was one more thing that just had to, you know, happen before I grew up. and. We ended up getting into it, we fought, you know, didn't like the outcome, so came back and shot me and my older brother. Uh, my brother's still alive. Your brother um, survived. Yeah, he survived. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I got hit twice, couldn't go. I, uh, yeah, I just I couldn't walk for seven months. I was going to school in a wheelchair. Actually, he was the one who, uh, my homeboy was the one who actually used to push me around in the wheelchair at school. <laughs> and I used to go in the studio with a broken leg oh, and wow. I would, just rap. I was staying there all day. They would have to like kick me out the studio. I was staying there all day. I'd go in there on Fridays just to just to be up there. And um, yeah, that's just. I think I think being shot kind of taught me a lot. Like that I wanted to live. That I wanted to be. I, I'm glad you, you got know. this out of the way because like uh, you know Fly America, which is oh, one yeah. of your videos yeah, that you yeah. have. 
um, at the end there, it's only for a short second, but when you're speaking to Mark Battles there, yeah. um, you mentioned being shot at yeah. that time, and mm -hmm. I was really, I was really surprised. I was like, I'm surprised that he's open to talk about this, but now yeah. after hearing your experience yeah. and seeing the growth that you've had, I understand why. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Um, I you don't want to do this, and you don't want anybody else. Exactly. To do this. It's like I feel like my goal in life is. Like, I'm calm. Like, all the homies, all my homies are, like, either in jail or dead or on drugs or some shit. So I'm just blessed that I got to make it out and, you know, do what I'm doing now. And it's like, um, I feel like my goal now is to teach, especially black kids, you know what I mean? Black kids that it's it's okay to, to be you. It's okay to be, you know, humble. It's okay to be, you know, respectful. It's cool to have one girl love one person. Love is cool, you know what I'm saying? Like, people yeah. don't understand that, but love is one of the dopest things you can give and receive, you feel me, so. Speaking of some love, yes, I want to give a personal shout out and love to whoever Fuzzy Keith is. Oh, Fuzzy Kitty. Fuzzy, Fuzzy Kitty, Kitty. I, yeah. love, I don't know who he is, but I it's, tell you what, let me, let me hear how I read it. Yeah. He's a good friend of yours that wanted to make music videos for you and you let him grow with you. Fuzzy Kitty was one of my was one of my best friends. Okay. Um, shout out to J Dub. Uh, we ain't we ain't friends no more, but he's sure. still you know what I mean still my nigga sure. in my heart. So I'm not really tripping about it. Um, but yeah, we used to uh, God, we used to we went to school together, and you know who Slim Kid Trey is from Farside? Yeah. yeah. So he came to our school one day, and he was like, everybody in here is gonna um, I want everybody in here to rap. So I stood up and I rapped, and he was like, I was the only person in class that rapped, and he was like. There's something about you, and I was like, "Thank you, whatever." And uh, he said, "He said three people in this room is gonna be your your people for as long as you do music." And I remember looking over at J Dub. He was sitting down. J Dub made beats. J Dub, he's he, in a lot of the videos. I yeah, see his name's credited. Yeah, J Dub made bit, yeah. beats. He sings. He raps. He does all that shit. And um, I looked at him and I said, "It's gonna be that nigga," because I knew him for like a minute before that. And I was like, "It's gonna be him." And um, and then after he had a he, he made a studio in his room. And like oh, recording to, studio, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, and the crazy thing about it, it wasn't it wasn't high tech, but he was so good at mixing that my music sounded good. You know what I mean? Like in a real studio. Are those so, some of the early recordings? Yeah, they are yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. Like so I used to, you know, exactly. Yeah. So I used to go to his house every day, and we'll just sit there and we'll just rap and we'll just make music. And then he got a camera, self taught everything. Start watching YouTube videos. Larry, we're gonna do videos now. Do we used to record me? Do videos. All this shit. So we do. We we spent like five years in his room, five years in his room, just making music, sleeping, making music. Like I, that was my my brother. So, yeah. um, you know, people get older, they grow apart, you know, whatever. But to me, you know, that's still my nigga, no matter what. Um, but yeah, like we, like me and him was just like. And you got to check out some of his music too. He's actually pretty good. Okay, yeah, yeah. Like, he's yeah. pretty good. He's dope. I, I was um, really just impressed. I could tell there was a friendship there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Worked with enough, you know, starving artists in my lifetime. When you have a friend that does something they're interested in, yeah, you're, like it's a complete teamwork. And yeah, you can see it in your guys' work. Yeah, he used to, and we used to drop videos like, like back, no matter where you were. And we'll always do guerrilla style. The just, there you go. My favorite one of his all. I watched a ton of them, of course. But the party, the song you guys did, party. Oh shit! That handheld video style. Yeah. That video is awesome. It's that, so just perfect of the, your era and like yeah, it's yeah, great, yeah. great video. Like we um we shot that in Arizona. I had a show in Arizona, <laughs> and we drove out there and we we got to the show. The DJ ended up canceling the show. It was like fuck that. We still going. Still we on, still yeah. going. So we went to the club, whatever. We got in, they let us in VIP, all that shit. Everybody started going crazy. It was niggas are throwing money, my nigga. Zakari Mason, shout out to Zakari. He's another one. <laughs> there was artist. a fight in the video, was that a yeah, real fight? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They had a knife. Yeah, it was crazy. Well, he had a machete. Yeah, he had, machete, he had a machete. Yeah. So like we just sitting there watching the fight. I'm like, yo, this is crazy. This nigga got a machete in Arizona. <laughs> it's too hot to be fighting like this. But um but yeah, dudes start fighting. It was it was a it was ended up being dope. We went on a road trip, all of us. And I think that was the last video me and J-Dub actually recorded together. Oh, oh okay, yeah yeah. yeah. yeah, so then I started, um, you know, fucking with DeAndre, um, the homie DeAndre. Correct, that leads to yeah. another whole segment here. I think but, the, uh, I've seen enough of your videos now, especially with DeAndre and Bossick, um, both guys that I, I know, I, they're friends of mine, and and they're so talented. Hell yeah, hell yeah. And yeah. then I feel like having known a body of their work, I think you come with a lot of great ideas. Yeah, it, it, it's um, it's weird because I when I first met DeAndre, he just had to start doing videos, and I remember I looked at him. I said, "Watch, you're gonna be big, bro. You're oh, gonna yeah. be big." I remember I told him, "I said you're gonna be big." I'm not trying to take credit for his work or nothing, sure. but like I knew he just he was just a nice ass person. 
like genuine person. He, and he seen when he first met me, he seemed like he wanted to see me win. And that's what I like about people, who, especially you. You, you, you dope as fuck. Cause when I met you, first time I met you, or like first thing you wrote me on Facebook and shit. Yeah, just yeah. like you've been genuinely dope yeah. to me, and um, mm-hmm. I appreciate that. And Thank um, you. then I met Bafik and Packer. Shout out to Packer. Mm-hmm. He's South Pack. dope, dope dude, nice dude. Tell honest he tells me if he don't like something mm-hmm. and i respect it because like i can grow doing that you know what i mean like and, and I, I appreciate that shit so the project that you guys just did the last one that you guys did the i love you yeah yeah uh, is that the one about your about your father i yeah, take it yeah um great work by you too you. i appreciate um, it i appreciate it what a awesome use of a small confined space Hell yeah, you yeah. guys made it look fabulous yeah so. i appreciate it i appreciate it you look real to, emotional yeah um, it was he captured the vibe very well yeah it was a dope that was a deep song for me because I never, like, I, everything I do, I put into music. Like, that's like, everything I do, I feel like that keeps, that's like my diary. Or like, what's gonna be my, when I'm gone. Yeah. Niggas be like, what's Larray about? You know what I mean? Or Larray about? And they can, you know, listen to that. Or like, listen to our music and be like, okay, this was a genuinely good dude. Or he went through some of the same shit I went through. Like, my dad was a crib. And I think that's ultimately why I became a blood. Cause he, you know, he was a crib. Right. We didn't have a good relationship, um, but you know, he he passed away. He was on the first 48 and shit it was crazy. Oh, um, wow. But yeah, he passed away. And um, I think that's what made me, that's what like started the game banging thing for me. Like I was like, I'm gonna rebel. You know what I mean? I'm gonna do what he okay. did. It's funny you say that because uh, the video in 2017 called The Hood Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Now yeah. the video is not the greatest quality, but I've listened. Oh yeah, to, yeah, yeah. I've listened yeah. to the song a couple times, Ray Ray, mm-hmm. and that song screams discontent. Yeah, that song yeah. screams distrust. Yeah, like I, I feel your yeah. bitterness a lot in that song. Yeah, like after, like when you go through so much stuff, you understand who's who's there for you, and who's not. Like after, like just going through most of through life, you see who's your friend and who's not who who's important to you and who's not and like when you when you gang make people a lot, of, a lot of people don't notice is you're you're alone most of the time you feel me so a lot of times we can't especially as a black man we can't express how we feel we can't i can't come to a homie and be like yo i'm you know what i mean i'm sad you know what i'm saying or something like that so when you go through certain things you see who really loves you and who doesn't who's gonna be there for you like right now i got homies like oh you know what i mean give my last to you you know what i'm saying because that's my that's my friend you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And at that time, when you go through certain things, like going to jail, like my, my bro in jail right now, Faze Rue, one of my, one of the dope ass artists, even he's in prison right now. You Is can that see. the new album, the snippet that yeah. you shared? Yeah, the other yeah, day? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I listened to that this morning, actually. Yeah, El Believe. Yeah. El Believe, yeah. He, uh, yeah. I think I want to I want to make him one of my artists. He's dope as fuck. He's, um, yeah, he is good. Yeah. yeah, him, my nigga Bando Tone, uh, just a few other people that I, I like to see win. And they real people, too. And it's like right. they got real stories, and it's just genuine nice people but they got your back and it's like you know that's what the song the hood was like me expressing the other side of game banging people don't people think it's bitches mm-hmm. money nah that's not the way you don't yeah. ain't nobody just walk, everybody's not walking around here with money you feel me everybody around here not walking around with bitches you see what I'm saying it's like that was a very strong know, song for that yeah, again, I like, appreciate I, it I man. can really feel like that I appreciate um, it another cool like neat little like niche to the story here I'm super good friends with Figure Eight. Oh yeah, yeah, and like yeah, yeah. Two, three years ago, I said, "Man, you gotta check out this guy Ray Ray." I just checked out. I don't know where he came from, but like this dude is awesome. And you know, you've been around by a while. Yeah, I'm yeah, just yeah. Late getting to you, and he's like, "All right, I'll check it out." Six months goes by. This fool calls me right away. He's yeah. like, "Bro, Ray Ray is no joke." I appreciate it, man. I appreciate <laughs> so it. So that uh, you guys got it together. You guys yeah. got a, you guys got a song together. Yeah, um, shout Heart out. Of Gold. To, yeah, shout out to Figure Eight, man. I'm not gonna lie, he's dope. He's so dope, and I like I love his persistence and how he just keeps like that dude with can sell a salt to a slug. He, you know what I mean? <laughs> him, he he definitely is one of the dopest dudes I met. And like like I said, just genuinely nice. Yeah. And like just genuinely want to to work, like not kissing ass, mm-hmm. just like genuinely want to do something dope. And it's like when he sent me hard to go, I was like, okay, this is dope. Yeah, he so killed really, it too. Yeah, right I appreciate right it, man. I appreciate yeah, he it. Smashed that so song. then That's we got, on we got SoundCloud. Another, everybody yeah. wants to hear that too, right now. Yeah. And we got another song um, coming out too. Backboard. Uh, yeah, backboard. That and that was gonna be featuring uh, Figure Eight, Coda B, and Ellis and the Eight One L. Yeah, that shit's crazy. Wait till you hear this kid Coda. There's a sixteen-year-old boy on the track. 
fire. I can't wait to hear it. I can't wait to hear it. I can't wait to hear it. Yeah, if I did that, sent it back to him. And then we shot, we shot a video for Hard to Go, too. Um, and it should be coming out whenever he want to well, drop it. When this is over with, I'll let you take a sneak peek at it. You seen me, it? He sent me a clip of it. Really? Yeah. Oh, I'm, oh okay. Hell <laughs> yeah. Shout out to Figure Eight. Also, uh, Ray Ray, we've not, never met until today, and we're actually in the same music video together. <laughs> 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 I had no clue at all. I was yeah, like, I'm the big homie uh, for Figure Eight's portion of the of the song. Are you serious? Yeah. I did not. I did not know that. That's dope. <laughs> that is dope. Um, you've been here long enough now. Are, is there is there any Portland artist that you want to work with, or anybody you haven't got a chance to, or like people on your radar? Maybe you didn't work with them. People you like or appreciate or have influenced you, maybe or I appreciate. Uh, let's see. Uh, Nani Breeze. Nani, shout out. Fuck Great it. video, by the way, too. She's dope, man. Like, she's one of the dopest women artists. Like, she spits. She's fucking dope to me. I love her. Uh, let's see who else. Um, shout out to Swiggle. Swiggle? Swiggle, he, that nigga's a hustler. That nigga's, you know what I mean? He, you know, you can't really knock what the fuck that nigga do. That nigga's tight. You know what I mean? Um, let's see who else. Uh, damn. Who else? Who else? There's like so many people that's like, she gonna be the figure eight, of course. Yeah. Dope as fuck. Uh, Zakari Mason, nigga. This nigga can rap, sing. What's his name? Zakari Mason. Okay. Nigga rap, sing. He's like Bryson Tiller and Drake mixed together. And he's like one of the niggas that just. And he's just, from here. He's yeah, from yeah, from Portland. He just need to drop. Oh. I can't wait till he actually drop his shit. He's dope. He's one of he the dopest people. Out, Hell yeah. He got he got like a few songs. Send me a few of his songs. He's stupid. I mean, we, we started a group when we were 16. And we broke up, but like we still good friends, and he, ever since then, just been killing shit. And um, yeah, the Cardi Mason, who else? I feel bad because I feel like I'm missing people, and it's like I know yeah, it's okay. I work with fun. a lot. I work with a lot of people. I mean, I like I like a lot of people. Um, I said Swiggle, I said Figure Eight, I said Nani, uh, the Haitian Princess Kayenda, she's dope as fuck too. Uh, SOP. SOP, um, Savage of Portland, straight out of Portland, I think I said. Them right. niggas is tight. They started the whole battle movement, the whole battle movement in Bring Portland. Yeah, they yeah, they started yeah. the, that shit was big as fuck. They had a big ass event. Uh, shout out to uh, Avery, shout out to Tino, shout out to just, um, just everybody that's, that's doing yeah. their thing right now, my nigga. Like, I appreciate Portland's on the cusp, y'all. man. Exactly. I feel, like, I feel, I feel like, like it, too. We're close. We're right we're close. there. Oh, don't get, don't forget my nigga Mubs. My nigga Mubs dope as fuck. These are people that you probably never heard of. I never heard of them. I'm but they, about but they really, research. they're really good. And you got to like, when you listen to their shit, they just, they're really dope. But it's just, okay. you know, popularity. That's a plug. You know? Hell yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, the Mark Battles Humble remix. Are you kidding me? Is this real? Is this real? Is it, is it out? It's not out, is if, it? Not out yet. It'll be out later this week. Um, if you see this, it's, what's today? Today is the 11th. 11th. Uh, so it should be like out Friday, I believe. Okay, yeah. this episode will be airing Yeah, so Friday. Already. Okay, so Friday, I believe. Yeah, um, yeah it was, it's, it's been it's been crazy. So uh, That song is such a joint already. I appreciate it. Mark Battles my, on it. Mark Battles here. and my nigga, my nigga, uh, my nigga Wolf, Wolf.Fun. He's from Vegas. He came out here. Um, we shot the video together. Um He's this nigga's dope too. Wolf, shout out to my nigga Wolf. Nigga's dope as fuck. If you Is hear that, the, tell him, tell him Wolf shot you. No, 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 no. He's a, he's another dude. This, oh, okay. When you hear the last verse, you gonna see what I'm All talking right. about. This nigga, I'm gonna keep the jeep. All right. This nigga fry me. <laughs> oh. I'm on my own song. Fry me. I'm not gonna lie. Fry me on my own song because <laughs> this bring nigga. The heat on that song. I was I was hurt, but when I heard it, he was like, because I was just gonna keep the same verse on there, but he was like, nah, you gotta drop another verse. I was like, why? Heard his verse, I said, okay, I see why I gotta drop yeah. another verse. So I did my verse. Mark uh, wrote me on Facebook, like, I mean, Twitter, I'm by Instagram, like, um, yo, I need to get on this. So he I hit sent you it about to, it? Yeah, so I sent it to uh, him. We all got it, because I've been on Mark for a minute, a long okay. ass time. And I sent it to him, he shot it back, we got the video together. The video's footage took a little bit of time to get together. So we finally got all together. Um, Bosick is doing his thing there's a so video is, this yeah. is gonna be nuts it's gonna I'm telling you it's crazy it, the, oh. when you hear the song the, the new the new verse of mine so I'm not gonna lie how I did got, you do I mean your first verse are you the I got, all, I got fire, off but, I got off but I'm not gonna lie Wolf <laughs> shout out to Wolf man cause he made a nigga wanna rap <laughs> made you wanna quit hell yeah hell yeah <laughs> um oh the song High 
Yeah. Um, okay. I don't want to compare you to anybody on that one. That sounds like a really cool, like, Biggie Smalls almost tribute on that I've, one. Yeah, I've, you know, what's great people used to always say, he reminds me of Biggie Smalls. Uh, I, don't, I, don't, I don't I'm not going to go because of the size and you stature. You know, but you know how that's, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah but the song, um, it reminds me of the Give Me the Loot. Yeah, yeah. Where they play the, high, the two, two voices. Yeah. High is like, this song, you know, like I said, I want to, like, love is cool, you feel me? Like, okay, uh, love is cool, you feel me? Like, and I feel like when you win love, a lot of people don't understand it, especially coming from where I come from, we don't see a lot of love, you know what I'm saying? So I feel like it's dope when you do get somebody to love, you express that, you feel me? In a dope ass way, and I feel like, shout out to Mariah, she was in a video, um, just, I feel like it's dope to just I was gonna ask you exactly who the model is, that's yeah, one of my yeah, questions, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mariah Crumpler, she's dope. <laughs> she's hella cute in yeah, that video, yeah. you guys look really fun she, together. She's beautiful as <laughs> fuck. But um, yeah, we, yeah, she, like it just came together. Me and J Dub recorded that one too. We um Oh no J Dub's yeah, like that. Yeah, right. yeah, so it was just I think it's dope to be able to switch it up too. Um the pull through song too. Um, that came off of the uh, old school, new school uh, mixtape oh, yeah, that you put yeah, together. Yeah. Okay. I thought that was a pretty decent song. I you know, like, I think it's like some free game for people. If they would just listen to I that. I hate those songs. Okay. Do you? Are you? The okay. reason why, because when I did those songs, it was my, I had a mentor named Chaz, mm -hmm. and he was like, this is what's hot. And you need to, like the Jerky song. He was like, this is what's hot. You need to do this. And he was right. I'm not going to lie. I did a Jerky song. I got my first video ever. did 30-something thousand views. Wow. My first video. And pull through was like I didn't like the beat, like it just he made the beat so I had to use it, right. and I felt you know. Like, shout okay. out to Chaz, I don't mean to disrespect, but <laughs> it was just wasn't a good beat to me. The lyrics are great. I yeah, to so song. like the beat wasn't good, so I just did yeah. it, and I, um, that year I performed, you know, Fire in the Canyon, you know, when that was like a big thing. Yeah. I performed in Fire in the Canyon, performed that song. It was dope. It was, yeah. Have you been? I, this is like you know I've been dying to ask this one kind of, but like. Man, why aren't you signed, Ray Ray? Have you been, or have you had people approach you? I've had, like, I've had people, well, I've had, I've had, I've had situations yeah. where I could have, you know, done that, but um, is it what I want? I don't know, man. I don't know if I want, I don't know if I want that. I want, I know I, I like music, so I love doing music. Of course, everybody wants money, you know what I mean? So, I mean, of course, you want to take your family and, and you know, do it, but I don't know, man. I don't know. If, it, if the right opportunity came, yeah, right for sure. But I'm not going to give up my creativity or my, you know what I mean? Like, I'm not going to fall in line with anybody else. I feel like I shouldn't have to make a uh, a corny-ass song to get hurt, you feel me? No. Um, but if the right opportunity came, hell yeah, I'll sign. Hell yeah. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. And seeing the wave of independent artists nowadays. That's anyway. exactly, yeah, like... Uh, Motherfuckers is getting look at look at Swiggle. Niggas doing good off merch and that's and, insane, yeah. and like all these shows and shit. Like you don't want to. I mean, I'd rather keep myself me than to just sign just to be like, okay, I'm fine. You know what I'm saying? So especially you got to be the right deal too. You're not about. To, I'm not stupid, so you're not about to fuck me. I don't know, right. no money or you know what I mean, no stupid shit like that. So yeah. You got any Ray Ray merch? Is there any merch out? Yeah, actually, I make um, I make I haven't I got to restock them, but I make sweatsuits. I miss hip hop sweatsuits. Um, they're on my my Instagram. Um, they're on my Facebook, and when I restock them, I would definitely post them again. But they're sweatsuits, jogger sweatsuits that say, I miss hip hop with the Biggie and Pac face. Dope as fuck. I see yeah. them too. I, was like, I didn't know those were yours. Yeah, I make, yeah, I make yeah. those. Yeah, yeah. 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 Um, last but not least, or a couple more left, but uh, make sure we get all your social media contacts. Um, okay. where, can, where can people find you? I got you. Um, right now? Right now, yeah. yeah. Uh, um, you can find me on, uh, on Instagram at R A Y R A Y T H A 9 0 Z. B A B Y. You can find me on Twitter, um, R A Y R A Y D A, nine zero Z, um, B A B Y on Twitter. You can find me on um, Spotify, Ray Ray. Um, you can find me Apple Music, Ray Ray, uh, YouTube. Same thing, R A Y R A Y T H A nine zero Z. Um, yeah, that's my great my great. Uh, YouTube, you know, has a great collection of his uh, visual work, too. Yes, it's Really, yes, really, yes. really good, so. I appreciate it, man. Um, last question, my friend. Yes, sir. My favorite one. Uh, yes, sir. Anything uh, you got to say to the city of Portland, man? Is there any, any love, respect, shout-outs, oh, yeah. message? Shout-out to everybody, man. Uh, shout-out to the people that embrace me. Shout-out to those who didn't. Shout-out to the people who support me. Shout-out to those who don't. Because one day you will. Uh, shout-out to Jimbo for coming all the way motherfucking out here to bumfuck Egypt to 
interview me. Shout out to him for being persistent and just putting niggas on and like trying to actually help people. I appreciate that and being kind. Shout out to just everybody that's doing their thing. Shout out to uh, to Bafik, uh, um, Collective Films, all them. Shout out to everybody that's just out there doing their thing and I appreciate y'all. I appreciate your time. Thank you so much, Ray Ray. Thank you. I appreciate it. Anything I can ever do for you, let me know, okay? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Cheers, friend. Thank you.